Okay, and uh, last time we had Agent Echo was wounded. We need to repair her with a med kit. So, Agent Echo has how many health points left? Twelve health points. Does that mean that we can only heal six damage? We'll just try to heal all of it. Now he has 32 health points out of 62. Okay, so half of his health. Okay, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Alright, um, let's see here. Agent Delta, put that away if you can. You can't, okay. Alright. I'm sure that uh, soldier there is very happy to know that we took him out. And uh, we did not kill that civilian, so that was excellent. Okay. Another uh, maybe possible advantage to handcrafted maps is, or disadvantage really, is uh, that uh, if you're a player and you're doing a handcrafted map, you're going to design it to kill the other player. Which means they're going to put aliens like right there, like you did. Okay, uh, I guess this guy wants to be part of our squad. Sure, you can join. Absolutely. He has better armor than us. He's probably laughing at us because all we, we come out in pajama pants in, in true XCOM fashion. Okay, I don't see anybody. No, we will not move you. We will move you. Next turn. <laughs> Next turn, we will do that. Alright. Revealing lots of the map, we don't see anybody. Which will make it uh, pretty safe for other guys to move up as well. Oh, wow. You have a lot of time units. Maybe you should be a scout. Okay. Agent Echo and Team B will go this way. Oh, fabulous! It seems like these civilians have, like, ran into the Sky Ranger and are taking cover. That's awesome. Instead of running around randomly. Wouldn't that be nice if they stayed there? Alright, this guy really knows what's up. He's like, I played XCOM when I was a kid, and I always wanted to be XCOM. Well, welcome to the team, buddy. Welcome to the team. Now, oh, Agent Delta, you need to um, switch that med pick out. Okay. We'll go up there next turn. And also here next turn as well. Alright. Okay. This guy has the most time units out of all of them, so I will move him up first. As he can reveal the bulk of the map and reveal the edge of the map too. Okay, so that means that the alien craft is right there. Okay. Awesome. I think that that could be all of the aliens. Okay. So now we're just 
again, lining everybody up in the front of the craft and, uh... Getting ready to assault it. I'm going to assume that the aliens don't jump out of their own craft until I see it happen, so... When that happens, it'll be a big surprise. <laughs> that guy really knows what's going on. Pretty smart guy. Yep, not, ma not many um, aliens in this one. Crouch you, move you in, crouch you. Oh, no, you're a sniper. You'll move back, turn around and crouch. You will go here, that way and crouch, and you will go here, that way and crouch, and then, uh, right. Okay, we got another one. A sniper and another this guy. I feel like maybe we should have more heavy weapons experts. Cause this this Agent Echo is awesome. I love that weapon. I think it's just a lot better than the rifle. That guy still knows what's up, what's up, but he doesn't have a lot of time units. It seems. Okay. Look. No, no. Okay. Uh, next turn. We will have full time units before we open that craft. Until I figure out that the aliens can actually open their own door. Oh my god. Well, we'll shoot this thing with as much shot as we can put it muster. And we killed it. Very nice. Agent Kenshin has been promoted to lieutenant, and um, Agent Echo has been awarded the Order of Gallantry, which actually gives you stats, by the way, plus one bravery, and awarded for elimination of five extra terrestrial units in combat. And she we got one injured for 11 days and one injured for nine days. We, we're going to start to need to order more troops here. So we keep getting injured. Excellent. Alright, do we have some time to mess around in the base screen while I... while I wait, so... Let's see, all we can do is make that Foxtrot Interceptor. Could make another one of those. Being that we have two extra hangar spaces. I mean, might as well, right? If that's the only thing we can make, aircraft. And, let's see here. Okay. Alright, we, we got two injured, so we're going to unsign them and then reassign uh, two spares. If I can figure out how to do that. Aha, here we go. So, people were injured, unassigned, actually, hold on. Okay, unassigned unassigned and then assign this guy and this guy. Awesome. So welcome to the squad. Oh, if we can put Sidewinder missiles there. Oh, that's a neat. Uh, Unit under construction, 63 hours.
Excellent. Okay, let's see. Our new people here, Agent India and Agent Juliet, are both riflemen, and this guy's a rocketeer. So, and I said I wanted an extra dude for heavy weapons, but you have to have a lot of strength for that. And we don't currently have someone who's that strong, although Agent India is pretty strong. Way under your carried weight, so that works out actually well, very well. Let's see, can you carry? Definitely gonna take away from your time units. Okay. So we will have another heavy weapons person and a rocketeer. And then we have to reorder them in the Sky Ranger based on how useful I think they are. Okay. Seems like we're. Oh, okay. Ah. Alien plasma rifle. Appear that the versatility of the alien plasma rifle makes it the default armament of alien combatants. It's powerful, light, accurate, and capable with burst fire. In short, vastly superior to anything we possess. So why can't we just pick them up and use them? Why do we have to sell them off, man? It's not cool. Even a threat to our hunter armor cars. Very, very bad, very bad. Alright, let's go to the research screen. Let's, uh, let's do alien alloys. So it tells me that that's going to produce some armor. Awesome. We can hire some more soldiers. And we will. We will hire some more researchers. And very cool. A few minutes left. We'll try to find another item. What it, what items do I receive? <sighs> Wish I knew what items I was receiving. Could it possibly be these guys? Okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, our Foxtrot Interceptor has been paused because of our financial issues. How much money do I have? Oh, I only have a thousand? Oh no. God, no. I overspent. That could be very bad. What just happened? I can't remember. Uh, oh, items arrived. What items? What items did I get? I can't remember. I just got I got items, but I can't remember what it was. Okay, center on UFO intercept. We will intercept. It's a small one. It's probably just a light scout, so we'll just go ahead and intercept it. Squadron zero. Oh, can we get it over? Okay, we don't have to tell over the land. Engage. Good 
pretty standard, pretty standard. Not bad at all. And we got one. Let me wait for daytime. Ooh, alien alloys. Uh, we'll learn about alien alloys next time. Till next time, folks. This is Jay Stank, signing out.